that was round two of the 2016-17 uh, Nutrigrain Iron Man, Iron Woman series uh, finals. As equally as you celebrate the success of athletes that you work with, you also feel for the ones that didn't have a, their best day, and that today was Ali, who I know he's bitterly disappointed with, um, with his race today, going from the top of the podium yesterday to I'm not sure where exactly we finished today on points, but yeah, it's really hard for the guys this year because there's only three races in the series and they're back-to-back -back days, so he'll bounce back and uh, I'm sure he'll come through tomorrow. Kirsty Higginson battled on really strongly with the, with the rec, rec fam grade two strain and got through the day and so she's happy with how she's going based on the injury. And uh, yeah, so there's you know, a bunch of others who we haven't necessarily worked with this weekend yet, hands on, but we might end up doing a little bit with a couple of them uh, tonight or even in the morning. So it's been a big day. But now we're off to see Eloise Willing, so we get cracking. <laughs> so what time what time are you get down here tomorrow? Thanks mate. Nice. Yeah yeah mate if well, what I'll do I'll, I'll Yeah exactly the main beach just if, it says you ask for the Cronulla Surf Club uh, North Cronulla Surf Club and they'll drop you right there. Alright mate. See you chat to you later. Cheers I'll see you mate. Bye. Tell Rice so he's uh He's literally doing a brain aneurysm. Same time he's helping with uh, Shannon's toe. <laughs> God, that's amazing. Can you talk a little bit about Eloise? Yeah, so Eloise, let's check uh, Eloise, guys. Uh, was podcast guest, I'll find out what number she was. Elsie Williams, podcast. Podcast number about 30 ish, anyway. So Elsie's a uh, double Olympian, dual Olympian, I should say. Last year in Rio, she she ran uh, in the 5,000 and 10,000 metres, finaled in both of them, uh, ran near her best times in her career, finished, I think, 10th in the, maybe 7th uh, in the 10,000 metres and uh, around the same in the 5,000 metres from memory. But, uh, you know, she's an athlete that's shown mighty perseverance, having 11 stress fractures over 10 years, missed two Olympic Games, persevered on to get to London and then Rio. Yeah, just deep water running efforts. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it feels feels fine. I iced it. Is it normal for, for the tendons to ache after icing? Yes and no. I mean. I'll just give you, I don't want to do some hands on stuff. Yep. You're right. Hang, yep. on, hang on, hang on, hang on, your chair. Hang on. Yep. You feel that from the front? Yeah. Strong? Yeah. Mild? Strong? Uh, yeah, it's strong. Yeah, so. Because I found stretching them too much was definitely. For the pair of hands? Because yeah. it's going to compress it as well. Yeah. I'm not a huge, like, it's whatever works for runners. This one here. Mm -hmm. um, I just get lazy, it's too much work, so like, this would be probably quite... <laughs> <point. laughs> Ever. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. Really good. Just, yeah, push your weight on the one side. And you're also getting that beautiful stretch for the front of your ankle, which yeah. you're like coming to that like position. That. Yep. Yeah. And you're just trying to shorten the distance between there and there. You got it. Okay. If you think like that, you've got to strength short that distance. Perfect. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's why this is such a challenging little tendon, because so I'm going to post some resistance band down to you. So it's already set up. So you just put your foot in at the start. Mm -hmm. So the lag between it being sent to you yeah. and you get in is your window of opportunity to get a hundred each side. Mm -hmm. And I'll actually suggest we do that twice a day, okay. morning and night. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So.
Because the thing with fitting, and this is what, like in that running book, I try to convey that message that people can fit a shoe to the foot, but yeah. it's about fitting the shoe to the run. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't change it. Yeah. If it felt good this morning, I'd keep running with confidence in those. And the reality is, outside of compressive forces, I'm not saying you are, but many runners make the assumption that the shoe is everything. Yeah. And obviously, it's a big part of this. So I just think that's. I think coupled with my orthotic, it doesn't make it as big. Correct. Idea. And then if you've got your orthotic, you can get away with it. Yeah. So, yeah. rock and roll. Yeah, thanks heaps, eh? Hey. Ah, pleasure. Um, can I pay you? Can please? you pay me? No, you can't. <laughs> That's why it's called a gift, you know that. <laughs>